What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking the stock skid plate off of the Husqvarna Norden 901 and replacing it with an AXP Racing skid plate. Underneath the skid plate you want to remove the two 8mm bolts in the back. You should not have to remove the three in the triangular shape in the middle of the skid plate. Those should only be holding on a support bracket. The whole bottom of your skid plate should fall down now. But as you can tell, it appears whoever built this bike out of the crate did not build it correctly. So let's figure out what else we need to do here. I've taken apart numerous Nordens and this support bracket which is held up by those three bolts should be supported by rubber dampers on the opposite side so everything should just fall down out of here but I'm going to remove it because something seems like it's still held up. Now you can see the skid plate went to fall and it should have fallen when we first pulled out the two bolts in the rear. Alright, in the front of the bike you need to remove four bolts. There's two on each side. You should not have to remove any more bolts. The rest of the bolts in the skid plate hold the metal and plastic pieces together. With those six bolts removed, the skid plate is ready to pull down. Or it might just fall off completely. These two rubber grommets help hold the skid plate up in. They just slide right up into the tank there. Like I said, whoever put this bike together actually installed this support wrong. This support should always stay with the skid plate and only rubber grommets should be contacting the bottom of the motor. As you can see, for some reason they put a bolt in one side. You never know who puts these things together. So just double check yours as well. Let's start getting the AXP skid plate ready. The bracket with four holes goes on the left hand side. You can only fit it one way. If it feels like there's a slight gap in the one side, you need to flip it around. The bracket with the five holes will go on the right side. Just put the bolts in. Make sure everything is hand tight for now once everything is lined up you can begin to tighten all the bolts and nuts down should be a 4 millimeter Allen and a 10 millimeter wrench. This kit comes with two rubber dampeners. They go in the support brackets where I told you there were rubber dampeners for the stock ones. There are two threaded holes up underneath the engine. Just thread them in and make sure they are snug down with your hand. All right, there's two more metal brackets, and there are four bolts, nuts, and washers for each of these. Put them in and snug them down by hand, making sure everything lines up. Once all of the bolts are in and everything's lined up, you can begin to tighten them down.
There should only be three longer bolts left and they will go through this plastic bracket in the center of the skid plate. The shortest bolt out of the three will go in the bottom hole on the skid plate. Once those are in and lined up, tighten them down. Now you can fit the skid plate onto the motorcycle. Start with the front bolts on the front of the bike. You can place them in by hand temporarily. Sorry, it's a little difficult to see here, but just put them in temporarily and you can lift the back end up. You will have to remove one more bolt on each side of the bike underneath the footrests. Remove the Torx bolt and remove the OEM spacer behind it. The kit comes with a shorter spacer to put in the place. You may have to crack an additional Torx bolt on the footrest so that the spacer can come out easier. Line up the skid plate, the bolt, and the spacer, and you can begin tightening everything back down. It is the same procedure on both sides of the bike, and once you do that, the skid plate is secured in the rear. Okay, you can return to the front of the skid plate, where you just hand tighten the bolts there, so it's holding it up. Place the four shoulder bolts, there's two on each side, and hand tighten them to make sure all the holes line up first. Once you have the holes lined up, you can begin torquing them down. The skid plate doesn't come with the decals installed, so you can put those on if you want to. Otherwise, you can leave your skid plate just black. Don't forget to install this little rock guard that goes right above the skid plate in the front. Line up the top two holes with the top of the skid plate there and install your bolts. That's it. That's how to install an AXP skid plate. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe for more like it. Thank you guys.